Hi, in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as Mental Stress Deduction in University Students Using Machine Learning Algorithm which is a python machine learning project. So before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project. So in many countries students commit suicides in each every hour also according to the 2012 Lancet research India has been documented a significant number of suicides among the young people especially students so when we focus on identifying the stress level of the students we can able to stop this kind of suicides among the young people or the students so this project focus on the development of the mental stress detection system using the machine learning algorithm and in this machine learning algorithm we have implemented the model using random forest classifier so the main objective is to identify the mental stress level of the university student so the data set has been collected from the Kaggle so where set of students is been participated by asking the pattern of questions among them and identifying the emotional state and according to that we are going to train up the system and identify the student stress level and the accuracy level we have achieved is training accuracy is 100 percentage and test accuracy is 93 percentage so in existing system they have been identifying this stress level using EMG or ECG signal based kinds of things so here the ECG signals are being identified using the sensors so existing system mainly has the sensors so need of sensors for identifying the psychological signals but in the proposed system we don't need of any kinds of sensors so only based on the questions patterns we are going to identify the students emotional analysis and identify the mental stress detection in the system so these are the disadvantages of the existing system and these are the existing system and this is about the proposed system and the advantages of the proposed system and here you can see the system architecture where we will be giving the student data set initially and the pre process and feature selection will be made and random forest classifier has been applied and the predicted result is being shown on three classes that is stressed or highly stressed or normal so these are the three classes that we will be using for the prediction level and finally we will be showing the performance analysis and the graph part of it so we have used python 3.8 with framework flask and for the database we have used mysql so in this project we will be registering as a new user and we will be showing individually the identifying the stress level so here you can see the proposed algorithm or model is random forest classifier the training accuracy that we have achieved is 100 percentage test accuracy that we have achieved is 93 percentage and uh, regarding the data set i'll show you the data set the stress this is the data set that we have trained up with so which consists of the features like gender financial issues family issues study hours health issues friends issues friends time overload unpleasant academic career criticism conflict stress levels so which comes around 2113 data set and now before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the python and the libraries installed in your system so now let us see the execution of the project so first copy the source code location now go to the command prompt now go to the source code drive so for example if you have pasted the code in the g drive i have pasted in g drive so first let me go to the g drive now type cd space and paste the location that we have copied and click enter now we are into the source code location now type python app.py and click enter and now kindly wait for few minutes so now you can see the URL is generated just copy the URL 
now go to any of your browser I'm going to Firefox and paste the URL that we are copied so now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title mental stress detection in university students using image using machine learning algorithm so now before executing as we have the database in this project so first attach the database so just go to the mysql administrator and log in with the credentials of root and root and click ok now go to the restore option now select open backup file now go to the source code location and go to the database folder and select the database that is available inside the database folder and then click start restore now you can see the message the restore operation was finished successfully message so now the database has been attached so now let us close this mysql part because it is completed so now coming back to the browser part so here you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project now first go to the upload option so just click this upload so it will be navigated to the upload page so just select this browse button and go into the source code location where you can find this upload.csv file just select it and then click upload button now it will be navigated to the preview page where you can preview the data set so whichever I have shown you in the excel sheet it has been shown with the features like ID, gender, financial issues, family issues, study hours, health issues so here you can scroll down and you can check the complete data set features in it so this is the data set that we have trained up so that has been previewed here so now click the click to train or test button and wait for few seconds and now after few seconds you can see the training finish message and click ok now it will be navigated to the login page as i don't have any login right now let me register by clicking the register menu just click this register menu it will be navigated to the register page so now let me enter the username as jp email id as jp at gmail.com password as jp college name as Pondicherry University degree as YAMTAC and now let me click submit so now it is not registered because it is saying that password should contain at least one number one lower case one upper case one special symbol and must be between 6 to 10 characters long but I have given only JP so it is not taken so now let me register again with this criteria so let me give the password as J capital P heart symbol and 1 2 3 so let me make it like this and enter the details and now let me click submit button and now you can see the message you have successfully registered please proceed to login and click ok now it will be navigated to the login page now let me enter the username as jp and the password that i have created and then click login and now you can see it once the authentication is success it will be navigated to the fill the details part so here the, the, the pattern of questions has been asked to each and every user who was registered so accordingly it will be predicting let me show you that one by one so first let me select the gender as male financial issues none family issues none study hours let me enter three hours health issues none friends issues let me click conflicts and friends time as seven hours overload as no unpleasant let me click s academic as no career as no and criticism as no conflicts as no let me click the predict button so once after answering the questions it will be showing the student details who are all participated in it and here you can see the user id 1 the username jp the college name and the degree which i have given and here you can see the post that is your details have been posted successfully and now 
if you wanted to check the student stress level election the admin can do it so now let me log out from this part and now let me go to the admin login so just click the admin login let me navigate to the admin page so here in the admin page it contains the default only one entity so that just def enter the default username and password as admin and admin so admin does not have any registration page so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button so once the login is success click ok so now it will be navigated to the admin page where you can see the registered user details so here you can see the user id username that is only one user so that is being displayed here and once if you go to the full details part you can see the prediction result of it so here you can see the predicted result where you can see the user id jp gender male financial issues family issues whichever we are given you and here you can see the prediction result is normal so this student jp does not have any kind of mental stress detection this, this has been classified as normal part so now let me log out now let me go to the register part let me create a new user called xx xx at gmail.com password as x x at one two three college name as triple x degree as b tech so now let me click submit so now you can see this xx has been registered successfully and it will be navigated to the login part let me log in with the created user credentials of this xx and now this time let me enter the details as gender as female and financial issues as repay loan issues and deadline of fee payment and family issues as parental expectations divorce of parents study hours as one hour health issue as um, let me select uh, some health issue so these are the health issues that is available let me select low energy and sleeping problem and fresh friends issues as uh, jealousy and mistrust friends time as two hours overload as yes unpleasant as yes academic as yes career as yes criticism as yes conflict as no and then click this predict button and now it will be navigated to the students details where you can see the details of this user and earlier that was done by jp and earlier now it has been by xx that is been shown here and now let me log out and go to the admin part to see the prediction result of it and now in the admin part go to the full detail that is prediction part so now this time you can see the second user xx which has been entered by me right now and the details of the answers of the question and here you can see the prediction result is stressed so this is the second class that we have predicted so here earlier done was was a normal one and this is was a stressed one and here you can see last time i have not shown this chart part so just let me click this next part that is chart part just click this chart menu it will be navigated to the chart part so here you can see a dynamic chart so here you can see there is only one normal and one stress so in case if there is uh, another stress is being detected it will be showing the number of cases as two so this is not a static chart this is a dynamic chart it varies according to the prediction result that we have developed and um, after this chart part we have the analysis part so if once if you click this analysis part you can see the performance analysis and this performance analysis will not change for the each and every one because this has been depicted from the model code so here you can see the precision f1 and recall values of the 
project that is on performance analysis of the student stress level where you can see the three cases that is normal stressed and high stressed and here you can see the confusion matrix of the project with the true and the predicted label of it so now let me log out from the admin part let me go to the register part this time i will create some other user called yy yy at gmail.com password as yy at one two three and college name as yy and degree as mca and click submit so now you can see it has been registered successfully now let me log in with the username yy and password so now let me give the details as uh, gender as male financial issues as repay loan issues payment of hostel family issues being bullied by siblings poor communication and misunderstanding study hours as one hour health issue as let me give health issues as covid anxiety or tension and friends issues as comparison between them friends time as two hours overload as yes unpleasant as yes academic as yes career as no criticism as no and conflicts as yes and click the predict button so now you can see the student details who are all given the posted their answers on them and now let me log out and go to the admin part for the prediction result so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then just go to the admin page just go to the full details the prediction part so here you can see the prediction result of the third student that we have entered as yy with the details and here you can see the class highly stressed so for the scenario i have shown you the case with each that is normal stressed and highly stressed you can also check with the other cases for the time constraint i'm not showing with the other data set that is available in the test cases so you can check with the each and every case of it and now if you go to the chart part as i said you it is a dynamic chart so earlier we had only two that is a normal and stress none he now you can see the highly stress which has that is one which has been created now so in this way whichever is been predicted the chart will be plotted accordingly and as i said analysis part performance analysis will remain the same this is not a dynamic one this is a static one only so here you can see the recall f1 and prediction value of the project and now let me log out and this is all about the project mental stress detection in university students using machine learning algorithm and thank you for watching